So guys, uh, thank you for, for visiting my YouTube channel. This is a channel where we talk about things to do with personal development and public speaking. Now, I've given the introduction of why public speaking and personal development are important in previous videos. So, if you haven't watched those videos, please ensure to visit them. I'll put the links in the description or you can check in the corners and yeah, be able to, to watch them. As I always indicate, we are misinformed, or we are oversupplied with wrong information. There is what I term good but wrong information. And it is good in the sense that it is quite convincing, but it is not true. For example, when you hear of the, 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 the term to say time is money, I'm sure most of us have heard of it, time is money. But I say that is misinformation. Now, probably you're asking yourself, why is it misinformation? And let me start from there. Though I didn't want to mention about that because it is not part of what I want to share, but let me start from there. So time is money. When you say time is money, what, are, what do you mean? When you say time is money, you are equating time with money. Okay? Sounds true, but this is the best scam it is a good scam which is not true why am i saying this this saying if not careful will make you spend more time to get a little bit of someone's money probably are still confused now let's say we have a funder okay he says um we're giving out let's say 500,000. How many people have raised their hands? Probably among, among them. Then we say that uh, the condition attached is you die next year. How many of us will then raise our hands? We, 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 all of us will drop our hands. Why, why, what is the reason? The reason is simple. It is because you know that the money you have now cannot equate the potential you have tomorrow. Okay? So by implication, this is wrong. By implication, time is greater than money. Time is greater than money. So, we should find means of buying time with our money. For example, uh, suppose you have, let's say, three cars, and those cars are dirty, okay? Those cars are dirty. What will you do? Because you know that time is money. You might spend your time to clean those cars than giving someone to clean them because this concept will tell you that anything is important. So you waste more time to save a little bit of money. I don't want to delve deep into this, but that is what I mean by oversupplied with wrong information. So this, this is to make you poor, this is to make you a good employee so that you overwork for small wages. I hope that is taken into consideration. I'm not diving into this. Probably I'll make another video of why, of why this is a good scam, which is not true. Sorry for that. So, uh, today's topic is winners are winners always quit. But on the contrary, what have we been fed? We are fed that winners never quit. It is losers that quit, which is a good scam. Why is it a good scam? Because um, having that concept, it will mean that you keep working on things that don't work so that you don't stop and think about things that would work if you thought about them. So you keep, you keep that illusion of working on things that are not working so that you don't stop to think about certain things that would work if you thought about them. So hence, winners never quit, it is losers that quit, and all, the, all, all those things, which is not true. Now, winners always quit. Winners always quit. Why do winners quit? Because they know if that something is not working, they have to stop and think about something else 
that might work. That is why winners uh, always quit. So, what then do winners quit of? So, winners won, they quit lying. Winners quit lying. Winners always quit lying to themselves. They know that I can't keep on lying to myself and that is why they quit. Because number one, if you're lying to yourself, what happens is you lose confidence. So, the word confidence, the word confidence, the word confidence comes from the word confined. Confined. And the word confined means trust. So that means, if you are lying to yourself, one, you lose confidence, which means you have lost trust in yourself, okay? So that is why winners know that, ah, I think I'm lying to myself, my confidence is not there, and I think I have to stop this and think about another thing that would work. So that is number one, well, that's what winners do. Secondly, what do winners do? They quit, they quit excuses, they quit, winners quit excuses, they quit excuses. Now there's something interesting that uh, this person that inspires me says, the person is Dumi Sandlinga Mangani Nube, uh, a public speaker in Zambia. There's something interesting that he says, he says to say no matter how genuine your excuse is it will expire if you are poor today that excuse will expire if you are an orphan today that excuse will expire because you can't be 40 years old and tell your children that oh i'm poor because my father died when i was young well that is true and we sympathize but there will be a time when that thing will expire so that is what winners quit they quit excuses because excuses always expire, okay? So that is the second thing that uh, uh, winners quit. Then, what is the third thing that winners quit? Winners quit being distracted. Distracted. I don't know if this is the correct spelling. Uh, I don't know if you guys get, anyway, let me check. Um, distracted. I think this is the right spelling. So, uh, winners quit being distracted. So, what is distraction? Distraction is anything that you put your attention and intention to, but doesn't spin the needle in your direction. That is what distraction is. Anything that you put your attention and intention to, but doesn't spin the needle in your direction. And that is one thing that winners detect, and they know to say, I might waste my time. So that is what uh, winners do. So winners always quit, but they know when to quit, and how to quit, and what to do after they quit. The first thing that uh, winners quit is being derailed by uh, disruptions in form disruption for intention disruption for intention so that is one thing that they quit because for any intention there must be a disruption so they know that any dream any dream that you have even if you are watching me now any dream that you have will come with this disruptions and that is what winners quit they quit disruption for intention they know their intention must triumph over disruption so they know that anything that distracts their intention they have to quit it and focus on their intentions that is what winners do so what is the fifth thing that winners quit winners quit contributing factors winners quit contributing factors contributing Contributing factors. Now, 
there are basically two factors in that. There's what we call a determining factor and a contributing factor. So how do you differentiate these two? Number one, a contributing factor is external. It is anything that is not within you. Anything external, it could be friends, relationships, whatever that is external, that is a contributing factor. A determining factor is something you tell yourself inside that this is what I have to do, this is what I stand on, that is your determining factor. So I can tell you today, if you feel this of yourself, it is because you want to feel as such. If you feel that uh, uh, gay gayism is, is whatever, bad and whatever, it is because you want to be a victim, okay? Because that is a contributing factor. That is a contributing factor. So anything in this world can be bad and whatever, but it is you who determines if you are a victim or not, depending on how you react to it, because of contributing factors. So uh, successful people quit contributing factors, and that's why if you study successful people, most of them don't even watch news. I've noticed it from Danok, that's what he said. I've noticed this from people like uh, uh, Robert Kiyosaki. Most of them don't watch news because news is full of negativity. Now, why do they do so? Because if you feed yourself with a lot of junk and negative, it will start contributing to your life. And you react unknowingly. You hear, no, uh, people are being raped, whatever, and it will contribute to one, in one way or, or another into your brain and it will affect you. So that is what successful people do. They focus on uh, what they are determined to do than the things that uh, that people contribute to their vision. Okay. So that is another thing that successful people uh, do that losers don't do. So what is another thing that uh, successful people do, which is similar to this? Web six being. Being consumed, being consumed by external factors, external factors, or let, let me say circumstances, Circum, circumstances, okay? Successful people or other winners. They quit being consumed by external circumstances, just like I explained on contributing factors. So they focus on intention than contributing factors. What is my intention? What is my determination? And there's something that I liked in the book, uh, 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 One Minute Millionaire. There's something interesting that he said. It's said to say, my I mean, failure will not overtake me if my determination for success is strong. Failure will not overtake me if my determination for success is strong. So that is what successful people uh, focus on. So they focus on this. So when they tell you, no, it is losers that quit, successful people don't quit, guys, that's junk because it will make you Work, 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 work on things that are not working. Instead of you thinking of how you can stop and think about things that may work, you keep an illusion of working on things that will not work in the name of uh, people would have at me and whatever, uh, winners die hard and, and all those things. So it is uh, a call for us to be awake and keep thinking, keep adapting, because winners always adapt to what's available. So this is what I had for you guys. This is your host, Maluba Mwilumwe. Please, uh, I've noticed that my viewers don't comment or like. Please ensure to comment and give your views because that will really, really help me uh, to know if at all you are enjoying my content or not. So ensure to like, comment, and subscribe for by, for by doing so. It will enable the YouTube algorithm market my videos. And this is what I add for you. Ciao. Peace.